actually the old technology from the NASA Apollo mission back in 1971. So you're able to use this wire mesh. So you have these little spring coils going around and you have these radial elements uh, to give it its structural shape. And so inside here, you have what you call a bump stop. So if it does hit like a rock or anything, it actually changes the forces all around there and, and dispenses it in evenly, which is unlike any other tire, which are usually uh, bottom loaded. This is like top loaded, side loaded, very, very efficient. So these are major improvements to NASA's original tire. We are the world's first, I'll say, um, airless tire company that we make tires out of shape memory alloy. What makes shape memory alloy so special is it's like a super elastic material. It's a very flexible, lightweight metal that's uh, elastic like rubber, but strong like titanium. So you can actually deflect a tire way down to the rim and it would just always bounce back to its original shape. So you're able to use this as a structural element in a tire now, so you don't need any pressurized air. So that means an airless tire, punctures don't matter, it would never ever get a flat, so your tire can last the life of your vehicle. Being that outer space is airless, so it works. So the, the properties itself, just being a flexible material is why it works on the moon and Mars. But bringing it here to, on Earth with a 1G gravity, uh, it provides a whole new array of properties for a tire, for innovation. So we're the first company to use uh, this type of material for large scale applications like tires. And that means for cycling, scooters, motorcycles, cars, trucks, uh, airplanes, everything. So anywhere you see a tire, which is on everything by the way, as we're trying to be in that market. And we're trying to really change the world with something like this. This will last much longer than your average tire. So the one key element is not only no flats and uh, it's more sustainable because we use less rubber, but you won't have to throw the whole tire away um, when the tread wears out. It's gonna be one of the first retreadable tires. So the only thing you have to change is the tread, which is far more cost effective than throwing out the whole tire and getting a whole new set of tires. Yeah, being that electric vehicles are much more heavier, um, it makes the normal tires now wear out quicker so that the tread goes faster, you know, the weight, it's just too much weight. So using shape memory alloys as a, as a the structural element, it actually has a heavier weight carrying. So the, the load bearing is much heavier. It can actually hold a 737 airplane. 
So we put that type of, we feel that high-tech cars, which are electric and nothing, should have high-tech tires. Because right now we're getting these high-tech vehicles using the same low-tech tire technology from 100 years ago. What you have here is one of our airless bicycle tires. Inside you can see the shape memory alloy, which is nitinol, nickel titanium. So that's the structural element inside that gives it a structure, but it's actually hollow inside, uh, no air, and outside is actually a tread for grip on the road. 